action in the women's pole vault. Included two finals, six underway in this evening session of day three. And next up is the women's 400 metres. The athletes are down on the track. Three Polish athletes, two athletes from the Netherlands. And here they go, one by one. It's Belgium, Cynthia Berlingo. She had a strong finish and qualification. She had a torrid few years. Achilles injury in 2019. Lost her father to COVID in 2020 and then pulled up injured in her warm-up for the Olympic Games. Now, this young woman... Yoshida Adelaki ran an Irish record back in May and she's maintained that form fantastically well throughout this 2022 season. One spot outside of making a final at the World Championships. Victoria Oharugu sets a personal best in the semi-final by 0.3, previously coached by the wonderful Lloyd Cowan. Her sister, Christine, taking up the coaching duties now. It's gone particularly well this season. Iga Baumgart-Witten will go in lane two, part of the Golden Girls Polish team that picked up so many relay medals that started, I think, in Berlin, really, in 2018. We've seen that Schmitty Ersetic taking the individual title, not able to make this final and defend that, but she's got three strong poles to try and maintain a Polish winner. Anna Kielbasinska of Poland will go in lane four. She's the top Polish athlete on paper in the World Championships, coming eight. Lika Klava of the Netherlands will go in the outside lane as she did in Oregon. It suited her just fine. Came home in fourth place in that global final. Who was the fastest Polish athlete on times? Kaczmarek was the first Polish athlete sub 50 seconds in 38 years. Hasn't quite mastered sort of her individual potential in the major championships. Couldn't make that final. Since it did though, and Femke Bowl, what a treat that the program allowed Femke Bowl of the Netherlands to attempt a 400 flat and 400 hurdles double. She says this is the harder event. She's pleased this is first. Her first round of the 400 hurdles will come tomorrow morning. And Femke Bowl said she was delighted to kind of get the trickier thing done first, and then she will feel at home when she returns to the 400 meter hurdles tomorrow. Lots of sub 50 meter relay splits for Lika Klava in lane eight. Could today be the day she dips underneath 50 seconds? Lingo waving to the crowd. Kastromak has got a brilliant opportunity here. Femke Boll wearing that blue bib. She dips underneath 50 seconds in the Diamond League in Celestia. Kilbasinska will go in lane four. Ohurugu in lane three. Bamga Bitten, the third Polish athlete in lane two. And Rashida Adelecki of Ireland, 19 year old. Goes in lane one. Catch Malek is just a few meters behind Femke Bolt in Celestia in the Diamond League. Finished strongly. Femke Bolt paces this incorrectly. Kastromak could come through for the gold. And they're off. So like a fast start from Anna Kilbasinska of Poland. Just working her way up to try and get on turn to Femke Boll. Femke Boll said it's a totally different stride, pattern and judgment of effort when there's no barriers in the way. Kilbasinska was gaining ground on Femke Boll, but I feel like Femke Boll is just getting into her running as we hit the 200 metre mark. The graphic in the corner indicating that Lika Klava of the Netherlands is in the lead at the moment. Lika Klava so often strong through the first 200 and she does supremely well at finishing it off nowadays. The last couple of years have seen Lika Klava go from strength to strength. She did the national record in Oregon, but she had to relinquish that to Femke Boll. Femke Boll at the moment powering away. Kastorek holding on to second. The young Adelaki of Ireland could be in the bronze medal position, but she's fading ever so slightly. It is going to be a win for Femke Boll. 49-44. She goes even faster than she did in Celestia. What a time from Femke Bowl. We knew that could be coming. 
which was sub 49 split in the mixed relay in Oregon and 49-44 Femke Bolt European lead winning margin of half a second for the Kaczmarek and Phil Basinska of Poland really good under pressure in the closing stages to make it a 2-3 for Poland so this young woman who's better known as a 400 hurdler now has the indoor and outdoor European 400 flat titles and Carsten Varholm joked to her in the press conference you're going to need some good luck to try and do this double but she's blown the competition away Kazmarek is always such a fast finisher half a second behind as you can see there but another very strong performance from her close to that time earlier in the year Adeleke bit of disappointment for her there was a good battle over that bronze position just won there by Kilbashinska national record for Adeleke down there in fifth place matching the accomplishment of Israel Olatunde he had a national record for sixth place in the 100 metres last night great running from the young Irish teammates she cancelled uh, her holiday in Mexico, I believe, to come here to Munich. So that's exactly what she wanted. Someone who has so much talent, over 100 and 200, but just looked at her strength and prowess, over 400 as well. So Femke Bolt goes up from uh, 26th to 15th on the European all-time list. She celebrates before the line. Look at this. She knows she's won. Femke Bolt unable to resist raising her fist. She's a very respectful competitor. I don't think I've ever seen her do anything close to her showboating. It was Kaczmarek of Poland that caught the time first. She opened her mouth wide. Wow! We think these athletes do do some training together. They've got the same coach listed, Lauren Mobley. That's not him. That's someone else from the Dutch support, <laughs> support fan club. I was going to say a huge contingent of Dutch fans have made the long trip from the Netherlands to Munich. It's probably about a seven or eight hour drive all the way through Germany. And Femke Bowl has rewarded their efforts admirably. And that is not just a European lead, it's a national record. And the fastest time by a European for quite a few years. Confirmation of the result there. Femke Bowl, Natalia Kaczmarek, Anna Kilbansinska, Victoria Uhurugu in fourth and a good national record from Adeliki of Ireland in fifth. And we head back to the women's pole vault. Just three women left in this competition. Vilma Murto has passed her second attempt at four metres and 70. That won't affect her position and she's gone straight to 475. And she knew that was a good jump. We could hear her squeal before she even let go of four metres and 72. She's improved that there with a first-time clearance at 4 metres and 75. That's going to put the pressure on the other athletes. We've been looking at Stefanidi and Shute, and out of nowhere, not out of nowhere, Vilma Murto is an incredibly talented athlete, and she has just given us the jump of her life in the European final. It's a national record. She's been waiting so long to really fulfil her potential. This is the night that she truly does it. I love it, these athletes. You see it in so many of the field events, and they know they've done a good effort. They uh, they let us know with 